Hey, what's up guys, Dan here. Welcome to a new squad builder of mine. Now, we've got a really cheap squad for you today, and I did upload earlier, so can you go check that out? That'll be on my channel. Also, go check out utcoinsnow.co.uk. Use the code DAN5 for that extra 5% discount. You can do that at checkout. Everything you need will be down below in the description. Also, can we smash the like button on this video? That'll be brilliant. Get this to 100 likes, that'll be even better. In goal for this team, we start off with using Cudicini, the former Chelsea keeper, and um, he's got the 71 reflexes, and the 70 handling and um, I don't know what to make of him he was quite good at reflex saves however he did make some like mistakes sometime uh, he is 6 foot 1 so he, do he can catch quite a lot of shots so um, um, so he is quite effective in goal when like you come to the corners and stuff like that and now we move on to the centre back position we've got Benera he's an AC Milan centre back and I actually was a really big fan of him I've used him a couple of times on FIFA so far he's got 67 pace 79 defending and 76 heading and um, you only pay 350 coins for him so he's really cheap a bargain centre back um, and a really good player in his team and in the centre back position on the right hand side we've got Alev he's got the 75 pace the 74 defending and a 75 heading he cost a bit more 3,800 coins and um, I did actually play 10 games with this team and <clears throat> to play 10 games you've got to find out a good review and um, I thought I learned quite a lot about this squad in that 10 games and in the final centre back position we've got Nesta that AC Milan legend um, he's 76 rated with the 40 pace this year and um, he's got the 77 defending and the 76 heading he's actually quite good at winning that uh, ball in the air he got me 2 goals in 10 um, games just from the corner headers and um, he's 6 foot 2 so you'd expect him to win some headers anyway and he's got the high defensive work rate and the medium attacking work rate and I used the backbone chemistry style on him and it seemed to work quite well and we move on to some defensive clips with this team and um We've got um, him running right through my team. And it's a great save from Kujicini to start us off with. And then it's another really good reflex save right there. And then it just falls out of play for a corner. And um, this is what I mean by um, Nesta winning those headers. It's a great um, leaping header right here there from him. And um, I was actually really happy with him. Alev did a good job in like strengthening off like, the attackers. And Nesta did a really good job in winning the headers. And um, yeah, that's... The defence was quite good. I didn't concede many goals, um, apart from the like the opponents who were really good, actually. Um, I think I lost two games out of the ten. The rest I won um, about six and then drew, drew two. Um, it's a effort right there. And look at that for a reflex save from Kudicini. So I was happy with him, to be fair, in the end, when you look at the clips and stuff. And then we can move on to the midfield in this team. We've got Nick Notorino. He's got the 78 pace, the 76 passing, and the 78 defending. I really liked his finesse shots. They're really effective. He has got the high attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate. And he got me two goals in 10 games. Um, I paid just 550 coins for him. So he's definitely worth those coins. And um, his long shots are actually really good. You'll see them in the clips later. And next one, we've got former Everton player Tim Cahill <clears throat> I was really happy with his heading you can see that 89 heading as a like standout stat and um, he's got the high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate he got me two goals and two assists in 10 games those two goals actually being a header <clears throat> both headers actually so and um, we move on to the right mid no left mid position sorry we've got El Sharawi he's got the 87 pace and the 85 dribbling I really like his right foot it's really effective he also has got the high work rates which does mean he'll, his fitness does go down a bit more um, he got me two assists and no goals in 10 games and I paid 1,700 coins since the start his price is dropping quite a lot and um, he's getting to the stage where um, I've used him a few times and um, since, the, since the first time he's sort of bit weakened a bit and in the right mid position, we've got um, a Lloyd Sam, I think it is, actually. And he's got a 79 pace, 74 dribbling, and he's actually a really good player. He got me two goals and one assist, and um, he has got the high attack and work rate and the low defensive. He's got really good dribbling, and you're only paying 200 coins. That's an absolute bargain. And um, he's 5 for 8, doesn't win a lot of headers in the air, but he's quite good at strengthening off the defender. And finally, in, the, in this midfield sort of section, we've got Johan Kabay in the cam position. Um, <clears throat> his long shots and free kicks are really good um, I paid 1,200 coins he does have a PSG card but just to get a full chemistry and get the link with a striker I did use him like the Newcastle version and he got me three goals and nine assists um, in 10 games which is actually really good for a cam and I really liked him he's got a really nice right foot and his finesse shots are really good as well um, if you haven't tried him already then I like you should get definitely go and buy him. He, he didn't cost much either. And that's a great shot from Notorino right there. His finesse shots are just so good on this game. And um, he's actually quite an underrated guy. He's like 
not many people use him and um, when I've used him in the past FIFA's like FIFA 13 I've really liked him as well um, this is what Sam's really good at he does a really nice like heel tap right there cuts him with a ball roll and then he does some sort of skill move right there just gets within the defenders and then gets a shot away and he scores a goal it's a really nice goal from him right there and um, Tim Cahill wins a header from a corner right here his jumping is actually really good I was happy with that and um, his strength his strength's quite good as well um, I don't think you'll mind this player he's quite good in a CDM position I reckon he's best in the CM position in like a 4-3-3 formation but in this team he was really good this is a really cheap team actually to be fair and look at this composure from Kabai just runs through the defence and the defence were assuming that I was going to shoot straight, shoot straight away but I held on and ended the shot in the final few moments and um, Kabai look at this right here like almost a Nocturino-esque finesse shot right there right into the bottom corner in like open play as well and I was really happy with that and his penalties and free kicks the stats for, for them are really good as well um, Nocturino you'd expect someone to finish that like from there even if they're bronze I think that'll be good and um, basically I've got a bit of a structure for the next like few weeks on um, on my channel basically um, what I want to upload is Monday and Tuesday is a road to glory um, Wednesday maybe a squad builder and then Thursday a review a player review I haven't actually done one in the past week because I did get reset by EA and um, on the Friday I've got another Road to Glory episode and um, Saturday Squad Builder and then on the same Saturday is um, uh, another review and then uh, Sunday obviously is Squad Builder Showdown and then the final one on that Sunday is a Road to Glory and in the striker position in this team we've got Loic Remy it is the, actually the upgraded version and his non-upgraded version is actually a godly card on FIFA and next to him I've got the legend Thierry Henry 78 rated 75 pace 83 dribbling and the 78 shooting I really like his card on FIFA 14 he got me 9 goals in 10, in 10 games and um, I paid just 750 coins he's so underrated on this game as well and he's got the four star skimmers and a four star skim uh, wheat foot sorry and he seems to pull off the skimmers really well I don't know why but um anyway he links up with Remy really well with these two strikers and um as you can see, Henri picking up ball up there. And I've actually got a really strange goal in this highlights right here. The clips which I've got with the strikers. And you'll see that coming up in a second. Um, it's not this one. Remy just does well here and gets a finish away right there into the bottom corner. And um, <clears throat> you don't always expect one of those shots to go in on FIFA 14 if you pick them up in the box. That's just standard for that sort of game. And um, a nice effort letting the ball go across his body, which I've done in the past few squabbles actually, are really effective on this game as well. And um, the pace isn't bad with these two strikers. Because obviously Remy with the quicker one. But look at this from outburst from uh, Henri right here. Gets through the defence like that Real Madrid goal which he scored for Arsenal many years ago in a Champions League to get us through to the, like, I think it was the semi-finals or the quarter-finals. But a really nice goal from Henri right there. A volley right into the bottom corner and... Um, We've got the uh, clip coming up soon, but here's another one with Henri beating the defender really well. And then he's just running away from the defender right here. And um, he does get overcrowded at one point, but then wins the ball back and then just finishes it really well. And I think this team costs around 15 to 20k. Definitely worth the coins which you're paying for. And um, I was really happy with the team. It scored quite a few good goals. I was like, I would prefer Soldado in a team like this. I really liked him when I used him before. Look at that for an odd goal right there. The player like gets pulled back but um <clears throat> I think this is the goal right here which is really strange yeah this is it oh my god look at that for skill moves to get past the keeper he almost like fake shots it past him and I was really happy with that goal to be fair even though it's a bit fluky um I do manage to get that underway and um a really nice like sort of finish right there from Henri just to get a goal there just to put me um get a goal back into that game and um Remy and Henri really link well and they've got their French link of course which is an orange link and in, um, a great finish from Henri both have got, got really good finishing I haven't really used the, like free kicks for them because I use a Johan goodbye with that amazing free kick stats but um, apart from that I was really happy with this team I'll give it an 8 out of 10 sometimes I get caught on the counter attack but look at this from Henri does the flip flap and then just done, does up the whole team like he would and does the finish to like top of that all up and uh, so if you enjoy this squad builder so far please drop a like on it that'll be brilliant and can you go subscribe to my channel as well we're coming up to that 6,000 subscriber mark so that'll be brilliant if you could do that and also go check out utcoinsnow.co.uk use that code down5 so i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day see you later enjoy the next video and my schedule so see you later cheers